is a is a it's not really a law just for starters it just happens to be a description that seems to work uh, it was it was first uh, stated by Gordon Moore of Intel in 1965 this way which is doesn't make much sense but let me tell you the usual way it's stated the formal way it's stated is that the density of transistors on an integrated circuit chip doubles every 18 months all right well turns out the density of transistors on an integrated circuit chip is directly related to anything good about computers the the amount of memory increases every 18 months by two so i just did a here's where my math came in right i did a I changed from base 2 to base 10 because it's easier to talk in terms of 10 than 2 with most people. And it turns out that Moore's Law factor becomes 10 every 5 years instead of 2 every 18 months. Okay. And, and then I just say, well, the density of transistors is anything good. So anything good, like the price goes down or the memory goes up or the speed goes up by a factor of 10 every 5 years. And that's revolutionary that means that's why when I showed the curve in my talk in 1965 when I made my first graphic it was one factor of one that was when Gordon made his Gordon Moore made his statement it is now um, let's see 35 years was 2000 so it's 45 years plus now divided by five is nine nine powers of ten which is one billion the factor that computers have improved since 1965 is one billion. And you really think this can continue indefinitely? Yeah, Gordon Moore himself came out, yeah, exponentially. Yes, that's the word. Um, Gordon Moore himself came out just recently, you know, within the last year, saying, well, we've got another 10 years at least out of this because we're going to start making the chips 3D instead of 2D. And so it's still going to go. And I suspect they'll find, you know, quantum computers or something after that that'll make it even go further than that, but that's as far as we can think so far. But I'm pretty sure we'll get another 100 or 1,000x out of it.